So with iPad OS being updated to version 14 recently, I thought it'd be useful to have a look at one of the features that I've definitely been waiting a long time for, and that is Scribble. And Scribble basically takes the Apple Pencil functions and supercharges it. So you can do so much more now with the Apple Pencil uh, beyond just maybe the writing and, and the drawing, but some other really, really nice tools uh, within it as well. So I'm gonna jump into notes on the device. Um, and I've set up just a, a blank page here just to start showing some of the features. So obviously, um, I've got an Apple Pencil. I'm using Apple Pencil at the moment. And a couple of things to just highlight on here. We can now write our text on the screen as we did before. But now when I select that text, so if I just tap and hold on it, I get some additional options. One of them being copy as text. Now, where this is really, really nice, if I just stay within notes to do this, if I now tap on the screen and tap paste, it's copied the text that I've drawn um, and turned it into text. Now that's gonna be really, really useful um, when you're doing note taking, certainly for students that are doing research on their devices, they take some notes on the device and they might have written down a quote and everything's there that they wanna use. So rather than having to retype it, you could copy that text and add it to a document and, and you can check out some of the other videos which will show you that process and how you can use it. But it's a really, really nice touch. Um, obviously, there's built-in text recognition uh, within the device, which is obviously you know reading what your handwriting look like, looks like. So that's a really, really nice touch. Other things as well that you can do, and if you're a sketch noter, and you can check out some of my sketch note videos to give you a little bit more insight into sketch noting. Something that's really useful um, is also now the ability to do shape recognition. So now if I draw on a screen and just leave it just for a second, it'll recognize that I've drawn um, a shape and it will actually convert that for me. So that makes it really easy if you're, if you're trying to make boxes, doing flow charts, those sorts of things. Really, really nice touch, just enabling you to do those things on your device. Sketch noters obviously will rejoice to that because lots of the time you're, you're kind of putting things into compartmentalized sections of a sketch note and being able to just very, very quickly have um, a perfect circle or a perfect square is gonna just tidy those things up as well. So again, taking notes to that next level in terms of how you can utilize that um, within you know the work that you're doing with it. The other things that you know, there's nothing new in terms of the pencils, etc. Um, everything is still exactly the same, apart from this one added pencil here. Now, the the pencil at the very start with the A on it, what this does again is going to change what you do. If I start to write with this pen highlighted, you'll notice that the text starts to fade and it turns it directly into text. So, I've had the ability to change the written text into. Um, into type text, but I also have the, the ability to now make notes and have it do the text recognition for me so that everything turns um, into types text on my screen. So it's a really, really nice touch, something that, that no doubt is gonna come across other apps um, as we move forward. And the reason why that is really cool is because you can also use your pencil in other applications now. So if I jump out for a second of notes and just jump into Safari, let's say I'm in the middle of doing some work and I want to search for something, I can now type or write in the search bar at the top and it's going to take me to, to something that I've searched for. So I don't need to worry too much about, you know, adding a keyboard um, if the keyboard is separate at this point. Um, you know, if I'm in the middle of doing some work with a pencil and I want to search for something, it's very easy to just tap in that box um, I'm going to search for something. Um, so let's say I want to search for cars. Oh, probably would have been better if I deleted the stuff in the box first. So I'm going to search for cars. And that's going to bring up the fact that I've searched for cars. I've searched for it. I find a picture of a car that I might want to use as inspiration for a drawing. Really, really quick and easy. Now, the other way that that is also really good, if I jump into reminders, you know, I've got to set a reminder again. Um, I can just type directly into here. Um, Again, it gives you all of that information that you need to just add in just by writing directly on the screen. So really, really nice touch. Um, and one final thing, I'm going to go into Maps just to show you the same process um, that exists within Maps. If I go into the search bar um, and just write, start to, to write into that box, it's going to do the search for me. Um, and then obviously I can go to that place. So again, 
that pencil is now kind of speeding up that transition between how you work on your device. If you're someone who uses the pencil quite a lot, you can now navigate your device at the same time as you're searching around things. So there we go. It's a, it's a very brief overview just to get you started with what Scribble can do in terms of shape recognition, uh, copying written text into type text, um, handwriting recognition, turning it directly into text within your notes, and how you can also use Scribble across other apps so that you can use it to search for things without having to type directly. Looking forward to seeing how people use this and please do leave some comments in the comments below if you've thought of a great way that you can use this in your own practice.